Hey guys, it's Cash Kicks here and thank you for watching this video. Today, I'll be giving you guys five tips for when you're back to school shopping. I'll also be showing you guys two new pickups I have right here uh, that I made in the past week when I didn't upload because I was on vacation. Uh, and so I also had a cold. If you can't tell me from my voice, it's a little like jacked. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm still recovering a little bit. I feel fine, but like my voice is still a little messed up and I can still feel a little like congested, but I'm all right. But yeah, I feel good enough to film for you guys. I feel pretty much fine. So sorry for my voice though, I apologize in advance. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I'm really excited to show you guys these things and also give you the five tips for when you're back to school shopping But enough said let's just get straight into the new pickups So the first thing is this really simple. I feel like Pablo shirt. Uh, it's from this uh, store in Utah called doused I was on vacation in Utah. So that's like where I was. Uh, it's called doused. It's a really cool store uh, They have a lot of stuff a lot of like variety. They have like shoes clothes like smaller brands but like other big brands like Supreme, Off-White, Bape, whatever. Um, but also they have like uh, track pants, and, like shorts from like other companies. I don't know, it's a pretty cool store though. A lot of variety, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, really nice, pretty cool, not much to say. It's uh, like maroon and white, so pretty simple. That's my school colors too for my new high school because I'm going to high school next year. So these are my school colors, so I'll be good. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. It's not great quality. It's a gilded t-shirt, but it was like 30 bucks And the second thing I bought uh, I actually got from base camp while I was on vacation I texted my dad because I saw on their Instagram They had a bunch of off-white stuff and I texted my dad who texted the owner uh, And got me pictures and everything and I decided what I wanted and my dad uh, Went and picked it up because I had store credit there like I had a bunch of store credit I had like 400 bucks store credit um, And so my dad just went and picked it up, which was super cool uh, while I was on vacation, so no one else could get it before I could come back. It is a little hot for the summer because it's a long sleeve, but it just says off right there. On this one, it says mirror, mirror. That's kind of like what they put on the bottom of the shirts usually, or hoodies, doesn't matter. Um, but they put it on the sleeve for this one. I thought it was kind of cool. And this one says off white, so that's pretty interesting. I've never really seen them have like that on the sleeve. It's usually like either the stripes or nothing. Um, so I thought it was cool how they had the, the writing on the sleeves. And then yeah, it has the off on the front, like I said. The cool off-white tags it usually has. But yeah, on the back it has that huge, uh, like, diagonal logo, black and white, really simple. This is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted something pretty simple, but, like, not simple, but, like, it stood out a lot. And you could tell it was off-white, and just, like, it goes with everything. And this one was exactly what I wanted. White and black, goes with everything. Huge diagonals on the back. And it was pretty affordable, too. It was, like, 275 It's a size small, fits perfect. And, yeah, it was really nice. It was, like, worn once, but it still has the tags on it. I don't know who wore it with the tags, but I guess someone wore it with the tags because it still has the tags attached on that string. So that's pretty cool. And it also has like these weird drawstrings at the bottom of the shirt, which I thought was interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, if I can pull it up. There we go. So like here's the shirt, right? And then at the bottom, it has these drawstrings that hang from like a second layer. So like you see like the end of the shirt, right? And then there's like a second layer, which is weird. So like that's the end. And then there's like a second layer and there's drawstrings that are attached to the second layer off-white drawstrings are always really good quality like these aglets are insanely heavy not going to talk too much about this uh throw it over there with the pablo shirt and uh, yeah let's get into the five tips i'll go through them pretty quickly because it's not like i need to talk about them forever they're all pretty simple whether for any budget whether you're like a ball and hype beast or whether you're balling on a budget and you're going to walmart to shop it really doesn't matter. These five tips are for pretty much anybody. Okay, so the first tip is having a big selection of pants. I recommend having like a lot of pants, um, just like different, you know, like sweatpants. You want, might want some jeans, maybe some sweat shorts, you know, because like just like different occasions, you know, you have to like have different pants, I guess, because like you don't want to be wearing jeans when it's like later in the year and it's like 100 degrees outside. Um, you don't want to be wearing shorts when it's winter and it's like 30 degrees outside because that just doesn't make sense, right? And so when there's like a testing day, you want to be like comfortable, you might want to wear some sweatpants. So it's just good to have like a wide variety of pants and also just like pretty neutral colors. I really recommend just having like a good pair of black like jeans or just like not necessarily jeans, but just good black pants. But yeah, speaking of just having good black pants, I bought these at PacSun yesterday, really good. Uh, they have zippers at the bottom, which I really like. PacSun is a little expensive, so if you're gonna like, if you have a little bigger budget, I recommend buying from PacSun or like ordering from Minimal or something like that. Uh, but if you're like have a like lower budget, just go to like H and M or whatever. They have pretty affordable jeans and just pants in general. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for tip number one. And on to tip number two. Tip number two is just have a bunch of shirts. I uh, mainly neutral colors. Like the one thing you don't want to do is have a bunch of crazy colors of like clothes, and that's hard to like have different outfits because only certain things match each other. Um, that's like a bad problem to have because then like you're wearing the same outfits over and over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, just have a bunch of like black shirts, white shirts, gray shirts, 
you know, even like a little bit of like more color, but like not anything too crazy, like red is good, blue's good, whatever, you know, but you don't want to have like a bright yellow shirt and then a bright orange shirt and then a bright green shirt. It's just not probably the best thing to do because you can only wear those with certain things. And you don't even need a lot of shirts, but just have the shirts you have match pretty much everything. If your budget's a little bigger, you can do something like this or like um, a cheaper Supreme shirt because like you don't want to spend too much money, you know, because it's like you don't want to spend $1,000 on a shirt and then like only have 100 bucks left, if you know what I mean. Um, but just kind of separate your money out a little bit. That's just a good overall tip. Um, but yeah, just buy some neutral colors of your shirts. That way it goes with any pants, any shoes. And actually, that reminds me of number three. So on to number three, have just like a neutral color shoes. Honestly, kind of the big tip is just have neutral colors. Like just get some black and white Vans. Don't spend too much money on the shoes either because like you're going to probably uh, ruin them. Like you're going to wear them a lot. If you're wearing them every day to school, don't buy a crazy pair of shoes. And don't buy a white pair of shoes that looks bad dirty. Like don't buy a pair of like, I don't know, like some white Yeezys or something. They're going to be brown by the end of the year. Um, buy some like white Air Forces or white Vans or black and white Vans or whatever, you know, something that like will look okay dirty and also is pretty like, um, what's it called? What's it called? Pretty durable, pretty durable. Uh, you want a pretty durable shoe that like won't like break on you because like if you get a hole in them in the middle of the year, you're kind of done, you know what I mean? So get a durable shoe, goes with everything. And then, uh, yeah, number four is basically just have like a hoodie, basically have like a couple hoodies, jackets, maybe even a flannel. Something different, you know, to mix up a little bit so you're not just wearing like pants, shorts, and a t-shirt every day. Um, and also like it's comfortable, you know, be comfortable. That's a big thing for school. Like I know some days, there's those Mondays when you get up and you're like, I don't even want to go to school. Let me just throw on some slides, a hoodie, some sweatpants, and I'll just call it a day, you know. So it's always good to have like a hoodie, jacket, whatever, something comfortable. It's good to be comfortable. Um, that's just a big overall tip as well. Um, but yeah, hoodies are really good, especially in the winter, especially where you live. If you live in a place that's really cold, you might need even more than a hoodie, like maybe a hoodie and like a coat over it or something. I live in like Dallas, so like the only thing we ever have to like do is wear a hoodie pretty much if it's really cold. And so yeah, hoodies are really good. They come in clutch, especially in the school year. Um, but yeah, just on to number five. Number five is spend your money wisely. Like you don't, if you have like a hundred dollar budget, you don't want to spend 80 of it on like a Nike tech fleece hoodie or whatever. Like you want to spend it like maybe 20 on a hoodie and then 20 on a pair of jeans and then 20 on another pair of jeans and then the extra 20, wait, that's 60. Wait, no, is that 60? I don't know, but just spend, just like even it out wisely, you know, like you want to have a couple shirts, maybe a couple pairs of pants and then maybe a hoodie or two. Um, obviously socks and stuff like that. Always take care of that as well because you don't want to be like rocking no socks. That's, I don't know, that's just a little weird. And then obviously your shoes, you want to like have affordable shoes. Um, but if you have like, yeah, two, three hundred bucks to spend, don't spend it all on a Supreme hoodie. It's so like, let's say you buy a pair of nice $250 jeans, you're going to have to have like, like a couple shirts and then maybe another pair of pants and all you're wearing is two pairs of pants the entire year. Like, don't do that to yourself. Like, just like spend it wisely, you know. I really recommend H&M. That's a good place. Um, outlets are a good place, like Adidas Nike Outlet. You can find clothes for pretty cheap there. Um, you know, just stuff like that. You can find pretty good cheap clothes. Um, you can even like buy the Supreme Hanes tees if you want. Like there's a lot of good options for just spending stuff wisely. And if you have like a big budget, you know, that's a little like less of a problem, I guess. This one doesn't really apply to you. And if you have like a thousand dollars, if you have a crazy budget, just like don't spend 900 on a box logo and then like have two pairs of pants and two shirts. I know I'm kind of like rambling and kind of like ranting a little bit, I guess. Um, but like, yeah, just spend your money wisely. It really will help, trust me. And yeah, buy neutral colors as well. I know I've said that a lot, but really that is honestly one of the most key things. Just buy neutral colors. You don't want to have crazy stuff. I kind of learned that the hard way. I had like a bright pink antisocial hoodie, a red Supreme crew neck, and what else did I have? I don't even remember, but like it was hard to like wear my hype stuff because it was all like weird colors. So I can only wear it with certain things and I don't know, I kind of had to learn, but now I have a lot of neutral stuff, a lot of blacks, whites, you know, grays, stuff like that. Um, it is good to have color too. You don't want to be wearing the same stuff over and over. Like, not the same stuff, but same colors because that gets kind of boring, you know? Not as fun. But I do recommend just kind of staying closer to neutral. Like, let's say you have a black and white pair of shoes. That's always good. Um, you can, like, maybe mix it up and have, like, a light blue shirt or something like that. But you don't want all your clothes to be, like, bright green, bright orange, you know? Stuff like that. So it's just always good to be, like, neutral colors. Uh, but also have a little bit of color. So it's a good balance, you know, fine balance. But it's about time to wrap up the video. I know I've been talking probably way too much and most people are probably already clicked off the video, but if you're still watching, really appreciate it and I'll see you guys later.